Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 11. In this lecture, you will learn how to do the data-driven testing in Cucumber using examples and scenario outline concept. So we have already seen how to use the outlines and examples in earlier lectures. In this lecture, you will learn how to do that in the Selenium and in the on the actual web page. So the concept wise it is the same. So over here we have used the scenario outline wherein we are going to check that we can enter the first name and last name in the edit boxes on this particular web page. So over there in that page there are two edit boxes first name last name and what we are going to do is we are going to enter different combinations of first name last name including special characters numbers letters in that particular names and then check if it throws the error. So over there I have created three steps. First of all, I'm going to the URL, then entering first name and then entering the last name. And actual data is specified over there in the example section. And if you look at the definition methods, this is for first step. I am on the URL and the URL is passed over there. Then I verify that I, I can enter the first name. Here dot star is used because when we uh, when we use this particular first name last name in the like in the outlines for outline parameters we need to pass uh, use this dot star then we have the selenium's find element method where we are finding that the first edit box using the id attribute fn and setting the first name similarly we are setting the last name in that second edit box which we have found using xpath and then just quit the browser so in actual real life application you will have to see that if the application is throwing any validation message and accordingly you can pass or fail the race but here we haven't done that step uh, the purpose of this video is to show you that how we can do the data driven testing in the cucumber so let us run this particular example or scenario and what will happen is why i'm saying it is data driven testing is that in this scenario we have three steps so the steps are same but the data is different so if i execute this scenario outline what will happen is this will be executed two times first with this data and second time it with this data so it has launched the browser and let us see how it enters the sean and low in the first scenario so it entered the sean and low in the first name and last name then it closed the browser and the it will run the second time for this particular row second row so depending upon how many rows are there in that example section, the scenario will be executed. So this is the second run and then this time it will enter team one Wilson in the first name and last name respectively. So similarly you can enter as many rows as you want in the example section and then that scenario will be executed for that many times. And that's why it's called as data driven testing. Like that. So that ends our lecture number 11 that is using examples and uh, outline concept to do data driven testing in Cucumber and Selenium. Thanks for watching.